there's gonna be people that watch this, by the way, okay? Yeah. That are gonna be like, man, I wanna be a Navy SEAL of insurance. I wanna be selling 10, 15, 20 grand a month of mortgage protection over the phone. Like this. Yeah. If you're looking to make a six figure income, if you're looking to make a seven figure income, you gotta develop into that, right? Like yeah. it, growth and learning, um, perfect your pitch, perfect your craft, right? Yeah. Become a product expert, become a, a, a psychology expert. I am a YouTube junkie, right? I mean, if it wasn't for YouTube, I would not know who Cody Askins is. I'm on YouTube looking up psychology of the sales, sales closing, um, sales body language, eye contact. I like saying people's name, right? I like saying yeah. people's name over and over and over and over. I like people saying yes. Yes. Uh, you know, I tend to sell with humor. Not everyone is a comedian, but I tend to sell with humor. I, you know, insurance isn't exactly the funnest thing in the world. No. If you don't, if you make it boring, people are bored. Yeah. And nobody wants to buy when they're bored. Today, I got a super special guest. I'm talking when it comes to mortgage protection and selling over the phone, this dude is an animal. And I've right. love, loved getting to know my good buddy, Mo Viltaji. Mo, what's up, man? Hey, Cody Askins. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you for having me on your channel. I've been a fan for so long. I mean, I feel like I've been watching your videos on YouTube for a decade, it feels like. And wow. um, it's been fun watching you grow. And I'm excited to be here. Thanks for having me. Dude, thank you for being here, man. Did, did you ever uh, did you ever see you being the mo that you are today? Um, you know what? K kind of, Cody. Kind yeah, of. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I this. I don't think anything happens by accident. You know, I mean, it. it it's. I, I. I had two. My rich uncles were both insurance agents, and um, I knew I always sort of had like a connection with people. I, I knew I had a the gift of gab. I knew I couldn't swing a hammer, so I knew I wasn't going to work hard. And so um, I, I knew I had to do something, you know, verbally, emotionally. And, and I think it kind of led me here. You know, I mean, I don't know if this is the path I charted, but, but it is the destination. That's awesome. And now you're, now you're doing some big stuff. Um, we are, we are, we are. COVID has been really, you know, um, you know, it's been a difficult time for our country, but in, I think in our industry, you know, the f fear or concern is a, a big motivator. You know, it, it's a it's a reason to take action. And um, it's been it's been a blessing for us on on the on the building side, on the Asian side and and on the consumer side. Yes. Yeah. yes. And, and and you have yourself and agents and a team that are selling more protection over the phone. We are. We are. Yeah. Currently, you know, we, we prior to covid, we were 100 percent face to face, Cody. Wow. If you wanted to talk to us on the phone, if you wanted quotes or an email, I still don't even like sending emails. But but we there was zero chance you were getting a quote from me or an email over the yeah. phone. If I, if I couldn't sit in front of you, I didn't feel like you took it seriously enough, and wow. I wasn't willing to give you my time. Yes, right. So so COVID occurred, and that sort of put a, the brakes on all that, right? Wow. And um and we got forced to you know not just we but the consumer got forced to accept that we're going to do things virtually. And I think the pandemic really put like I was saying a lot of a lot of um, um, reason to act in people's mind. And uh, and it's it's really been a, a blessing. I don't think it's been a blessing just for us. I think for this industry, you know, it's kind of fast forwarded the e apps and the the digital stuff that's, you know what I mean? Like, like there's so much stuff coming industry wide that's just gonna allow us to, to, to finally get to 2021 because we've yeah. been in like 1998 for a long time now. Yeah. True. I mean, it really seemed like it's forced the carriers to catch up. Absolutely. Absolutely. It totally has. It totally has that. Yeah. So I'm excited about all of it. I mean, you know, I don't, I can't imagine myself doing a paper application ever again. And prior to COVID, I had never done an e-app. I knew they were available, but I never did an e-app. I mean, I just, you know, I sold with a pad and a pen and I didn't use a laptop and, 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 and here we are, you know, I'm, I mean, we're not, I'm not ordering pens anymore. I'm not ordering paper. I'm not printing out applications. I mean, my copier just sits here and collects dust. So you you, you save you save gas, time, and office supplies. And you know what? I, I also, I I I also am saving um, really a lot of emotion too, because you know I think in this business, you know, like a, I always say, the worst result you can have is a no show. You know, imagine coming up to bat and then you can't swing. 
Yes. You know, you're prepared, you're dressed, you're shaved, you got, you got your nice clothes on, you know, and you're ready for it. And, and then you don't, they're not even there. So that mm. home, that drive home from a no show, I mean, that was suicidal two, three days a week. You know what I mean? I mean, yes. so, so it's, it, it's, it's so much easier. You just are on to the next. Wow. Yeah. I feel like it's less, it's less of an emotional roller coaster. So, so you think that's going to help agents overall with like the, the, the mindset and the mental positive, the positivity piece of this business? I, I do. I mean, you, you, Cody, oh. nobody knows that mindset is more important than anything else than you. Right. I mean, come yeah. on now. Yeah. And you know, when you, when you get in your head, you know, it, it's like, it's just, you know, yeah. It's true. Man. It's a, it's Not to mention a- people in like small towns where maybe there isn't a bunch of leads, uh, agents that are doing travel trips, I mean, I hear agents talk about, I drive to people's house and sit in their driveway and do an application. I'm like, so you're doing it remotely from their their driveway? (laughs) I mean, it's, it's 2021, you guys, we need to step into the, into the digital world. Dude, that's huge. I love that you're saying that. And, and, and you're right. You know, I mean, you're, you're, that's what I love about you, man, your energy, your transparency, what you're doing. Um, Tell everybody what kind of numbers and volume you guys are doing uh, really all over the phone now. Yeah, all over the phone. So, you know, we're, we're as a company, you know, we're doing a couple million a month um, in sales all over the country. As an agency, you know, at, with my team here, there's there's about 20 of us nationally. And um, like on my team here, because remember prior to COVID, Co- Cody, I was only looking for agents right in my area. So there was only so many leads I was able to generate. There was only so many resources I was able to give. So we were never the type of agency that was just, you know, bringing in the masses. We always wanted like, they called us the Navy SEALs of insurance, right? We, it was like the best of the best. We wanted top producers. We wanted people that, so we're, we're our numbers are, are fantastic per agent. Um, they're, it's not like we have a thousand agents doing a thousand uh, an AP a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, last month um, we did about uh, 150,000 in production okay. and um, you know, that was through about 10, 10, 12 agents. And, um, and, and I, and I've got, I've got about 40 in the pipe. So there's, there's the momentum coming in month after month after month. It's just been really, really great. That's awesome, buddy. That's yeah. big. That's big. And, and with a small group, I mean, you, you've chosen instead of going and, and recruiting 20,000 insurance agents that do nothing by 19,800 of them don't write a piece of business. You, you it's re- yeah. Really what it is. It's really what it is. I mean, listen, this, this is a, this is a full-time career where you can feed your family and, and, and fulfill your dreams and you can have enough to pay your bills and enough to have your wants and enough to have your needs. Yeah. And then, right. You can also use, you can also have enough money to invest and buy uh, uh, properties and, uh, 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 you know, storage units and things of that sort. Right. I mean, yeah, you, know, right. you know how that works, right? I mean, this is a great way to fund your dreams. I always tell agents. Yes. And there's not a better career on the planet to fund your dreams. I, I, I absolutely believe that with time, with flexibility, with the amount you have to invest with the amount of return you get, the, like the amount of leads cost versus the commissions that are received. I mean, imagine owning a restaurant or own a starting a 7-Eleven or the capital that's taken and the, and the time it takes I mean, it's just hands down one of the best industries in, out there for sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, where, where, where's your, have you always been the way you are? Where's your energy come from? Because you're like super infectious. Like people are attracted to you. There's, there's, there's going to be people that watch this, by the way, okay? Yeah. That are going to be like, man, I want to be a Navy SEAL of insurance. I want to be selling 10, 15, 20 grand a month of mortgage protection over the phone like this, yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. Um, honestly, I just think that, 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 you know, I personally have a lot of energy, right. Um, you know, my, it comes from my mom, actually, I would say, right. Okay. My, mom, my mom is really kind of loud and spunky and fun. And, uh, I think that's probably where I get it. Um, but at the same token, I just think that, you know, Grant Cardone always says there's no limit of, there's no cap on people. There's no cap on money. I mean, there's no shortage of people. There's no shortage of money. There's no shortage of opportunity. And I, and I just feel like, you know, when we say, oh, you know, all this fluff about uncapped commissions and unlimited earnings, well, it's kind of fluff, but it's kind of true. Yeah. yeah. And regardless of how long you've been here, regardless of what you made last month, you can double that the next month. Right. Like I always tell agents, you're you're a sale a week from changing your life. Mm. Right. Have an extra sale every week. It'll change your life. Wow. Right. I mean, if you're if you're building a team, you're one agent away from changing your life. 
That's right. Because you, you know, you never know who you're going to run into. You never know that client. I mean, um, th there's just so much potential. There's so much opportunity. I mean, uh, you know, this opportunity really changed my life in so many great ways, Cody. And I know that I can do what I did for myself for others. You know, my mother always said that, you know, money comes with responsibility. Mm. And, and I, and I kind of, I'm starting to feel that responsibility because, you know, I, I have, you know, I've got some money now. Right. And, and yeah. so I'm sort of, I'm really starting to feel that like, you know, the goals that I had of like having a nice car and doing nice things and buying nice clothes and, and, and just, you know, those, all those, those, you know, those tangible things yep. you, know, that you want when you grow up, when you don't have, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of over at this point. Right. Yeah. And, and I feel like I'm ready. I'm, I'm a point in my life where I'm ready to make an impact in someone else's life. Yes. Because I've already feel like I've made that impact in my life. Ooh. And I've already been able to do it with quite a few different agents. Right. I mean, if you're, if you, you, you know, you ask 10 people in, in our agency, in our company, you know, tell me something about Mo, they're not going to say too many bad things, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I, and I tend to want to help. I like helping. Yes. I mean, you know, financially, emotionally, mentally, I, I feel like I'm a giver. So yeah. I, you know, I've got, I've got some, I've got some energy to give. I could see that you got enough to go around. Uh, and, and, and do, do you have the car? Do you have like, you know, you, you've got you know, I don't have like a Lamborghini or anything like that. I've got an M4 convertible. I, you know, I bought a sports car that was, you know, like that was reasonable. I mean, I've got two boys yeah. growing up 14 and eight and you know, I could have bought other things. I could have bought a more expensive car, but I just, you know, I just felt right. like, you know, listen, it's a really fun car to drive. Still an M4 convertible. It's a convertible and we're in San Diego and it is a dream. I'll tell you, it really is. I've got a hundred thousand miles on that thing. I, I'm just ready to get something new. And um, I bought myself like a sand car, like a dune buggy. And I'm, I'm really like getting my, my, my speed demon, you know, joys and thrills mm -hmm. in, in the desert now instead of on the freeways. So, um, you know, th that was one of the things, Cody, when I, when I first started in this business, that I absolutely loved was the fact that we were driving around because I was always a driver growing up. Right. I enjoyed driving. I enjoyed cars. I was always a car junkie. I went to like car shows and I went to like the drags and, you know, I mean, I was into muscle cars and as much as I was into Lamborghinis and things, I was into Chevelles and Novas and, and those, you know, Mickey Thompson tires. And, you know, so I, I was really all into that. And, and, and I'm, I'm but, I, but I'm, but I'm at this point, I just feel like I'm ready for, I'm ready to impact in, at different in different levels. That's right. That's right. Which is also why um, it's new, it's it's new to everybody, but that you're going to be doing a breakout session and speaking at Apres Nation to help others. I know, I know, and you know what? Honestly, Cody, I, I can't tell you inside how excited I am about that opportunity yeah. and the potential to just give. You know, um, I, I you know, I mean, you know, in in all these years I've been in this business, you know, you learn so much. Yeah. And initially you do things because people tell you to do them, yeah. but then, you know, you get on YouTube and you start learning about sales and you start learning about psychology and you hear Cody Askins and you hear all these other guys say things and you read some books and, yeah. and then you start to realize like, Oh, that's why they told us to say that. Mm. Oh, that's why we do that on the phone. Oh, that's why I introduced myself that way. Oh, that's why they told us to be serious and not be so playful. Right? Like all these little things that we got trained and I'm like, Okay, fine. I'll do it because you told me to. But now I understand why. And I think when you know the why, it just really solidifies what you're doing and why you're doing it and how you're doing it. Yes. Not to mention when you pay a claim. Right. Right. Like just yesterday, actually, I was in the middle of an appointment and I got a call from a client while I was with a client saying his wife died. And Cody, those kinds of things, those kinds of things just, you know, when you sit across the kitchen table and you meet somebody and you have a conversation with them and, and then, and then, and then you get a call saying they died. You're like, I mean, this lady was 70. It's not, she was 30, Sure, but she was such a sweet lady. And I had such a good time with her. It, you know, I, I gave this guy a hug and he cried in my, in my arms, Cody. And he's like a 74 year old Navy veteran who mm. served our country for, you know, for a decade and worked for the DOD for, for 32 years. You know, and it's just uh, those kind of moments really make what we do real, right? It's not just a sale. No, it's not. It really does. It, it brings it to life. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds us how important in what we do um, when those moments happen. You know, I've had them happen too. And it's like, it's, yeah. a, it's a reassurance of what we're really doing, why we're doing it. 
why, why, why helping someone do it from a sell standpoint is so important. Cause can you imagine, um, I'm, I'm looking at your Instagram, the life and life insurance agent mentor. I was tagging you in a story. Oh, thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, you got it, buddy. And, and, I, and I'm thinking about like, you know, like how much of an impact, like you're, you're not, I mean, you're impacting prospects, but you're impacting agents. But really if you're, if you and your agents aren't helping a client do something they should be doing. Yeah. What are we really doing? You know, because imagine, sure. imagine if you would not have closed that client. Yeah, I know. I know. You know what? I don't train my agents to sell insurance. I train our agents to be advocates of insurance, mm. right? To have the passion, to have the belief in what you're doing so that you can transfer belief into, because people say like, I don't believe in life insurance, like, like it's Jesus or something, right, Cody? I don't know why yeah. people say that word, but we have to transfer their, your belief of insurance into them. So yeah. I train advocates, not salespeople. And there's a line in our training material that I just absolutely, I don't have any tattoos, but I could get it right here. I put it right. And it says, I'm excited and willing to battle consumer behavior. The time is now. They'll thank me later. Boom. And, 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 and that says it all. That's good. Are you going to share some of that at 8% by the way? You know, those are trade secrets, Cody. I'm going to have to charge you. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I figured. Well, I'll collect 20s at the door for you. All right. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. No, I, yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, I'll be, I'm, I'm more than happy to help. Absolutely. Yeah. That's huge. That's huge. And that goes back to the impact piece. Did, did where, Where's, um? I mean, so, okay, so let me ask you this, because a lot of, there's a lot of agents out there that are struggling. They're new. They don't know where to go. They're not sure what to do, how to do it, why to do it, when to do it, yeah. where, where to do it. I know. Um, or they don't know what to do with their hands or their time. And they're like, I don't know. You know what I mean? So what's some advice you can give someone out there that's listening and they're like, man, I want to be mill. I want to, I want to be Mo Biltaji when I grow up. Yeah. Um, I would say, first of all, don't give up, don't mm -hmm. give up on yourself and don't give up on growing. Yeah. Right. I mean, like you don't, you don't become great. Like, you know, instantly Cody, right. Cody didn't happen overnight. I mean, there's right. videos, there's videos there from 10 years ago. Right. I mean, you know, and you're, and I, and I remember when I sat in cross for my interview, I, my manager asked me a question. He said, how much money do you want to make Mo? And I said, I'd like to make a quarter million dollars a year at least because my uncle's making like seven fifty, And that was in like the eighties. Wow. I know as an insurance agent, right. Wow. As an insurance agent, he was making around seven fifty a year. And so I would say, I would say con continuously grow. Yeah. Right. And I guess the reason why I would say that he said the man that he's going to make a quarter million dollars a year at Mo is not the man that's sitting in front of me today. Mm. So, so if you're looking to make a six figure income, if you're looking to make a seven figure income, you got to develop into that, right? Like yeah. the growth and learning, um, perfect your pitch, perfect your craft, right? Yeah. Become a product expert, become a, a, a psychology expert, you know, watch, you know, I am a YouTube junkie, right? I mean, if it wasn't for YouTube, I would not know who Cody Askins is, right? I'm on YouTube looking up psychology of the sales, sales closing, um, sales body language, s eye contact. Um, you know, I like saying people's name, right? I like saying yeah. people's name over and over and over and over. I like people saying yes. Yeah. You know, I tend to sell with humor. Not everyone is a comedian, but <laughs> I tend to sell with humor. I, you know, insurance isn't exactly the funnest thing in the world. No. If you don't, if you make it boring, people are bored. Yeah. And nobody wants to buy when they're bored. No, I was just telling our salespeople that this morning. I'm like, lighten up, like have some fun, like, you know, like change it up, like yeah. get their attention. Like, don't be so like stiff and boring. And like, no, no, you know, you know, also um, I talk a lot about giving energy instead of taking energy. Mm. You know, if your energy level is here and the client's energy level is here, you're draining. Yeah. Who wants to be around somebody who's draining? That's exactly right. That's why I love being around you, man. Right. You, know? you need to be two notches above the client. It's yeah. kind of hard to be 10 notches above the client. Yeah. Yeah. But you need to be two notches above the client. Yeah. Right. And people buy from people they like. That's right. So be likable. Yeah. Right. Have some fun. You know, when I ask, when I ask people, um, what's funner than selling insurance or what's funner than meeting with your insurance agent, Cody, mm. people always say everything. <sighs> That's the most common answer. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> right? So so you got to know that you're in a situation that is not really the most enjoyable. Yeah. So you got to make it kind of a little more enjoyable for the client. That's right. 
So I always, you know, I lead with humor. humor. I always tell clients, speak from your heart, not from your wallet, yeah. right? Treat people as if they were your parents, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your uncle. Make proper recommendations. Mm. As agents, you know, we have a fiduciary responsibility to act on people's behalf in their best interest. That's right. Be the leader that they need. You know, when you go to the doctor, they don't tell you there's five different blood pressure medications. Which one do you want? But when you go to an insurance professional, they tell you, oh, there's five different policies. Which ones do you want? Mm. And it sounds so silly when I say it as a doctor. But for some reason, agents just want to like buffet their products. Mm. This isn't a buffet. Mm. I choose what you get. I'm the professional. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. If you knew what you were talking about, you wouldn't need me. That's right. So you need to have the guts and the experience and the professionalism and the confidence yeah. to lead them. Because I always say that we're looking for people that will allow you to lead them. Mm. Because some people can't be led, Cody. That's right. Some people don't want to be led. They're not your clients. You know, sometimes also I tell clients something really powerful to know is when to kind of back off. <laughs> Like that push pull. Like I read this book a long time ago about being a people magnet. Yes. How to be a people magnet. You can what, Google what, it. What book is that? How to be a people magnet? It's just Google. I don't even remember the name. It was it was 12 years ago. How to be a people magnet. It was an audio book, actually. I, I, can, I can barely read. I'm in. Right. And it talked about the flow of the conversation being one of the most important things. You know, when you tend to push a lot, to, people tend to back away. True that. Right. We always talk about that takeaway. Well, the takeaway is sort of it's more like a back off. Yeah. Right. That's true. And and sometimes you got to force people. You you asked me a question, Cody, that forced me to make a decision earlier. And I it's funny you did it because I teach the agents to do it. <laughs> people tell me they want to think about it. They're not really sure. They're going to want to wait. I say, well, listen, I totally agree. You should wait. Right. But if you had to choose now, mm. which one would you choose? Exactly. And, 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 and you, I always add it by telling me why. So which one would you choose and why? So then clients literally tell me what they're going to choose and why they would choose it. I like the wow, the, the why piece. Yeah. That's good. That's because good. I like to sell the why more than the what. Mm. So when I make a recommendation to the client and I make a recommendation, I show them two options because I want them to feel like they have an option. But truthfully, Cody, they don't have an option. I already know what I want to sell them. That's right. I know what's in their best interest. So I'm going to tell them what they should buy. And I'm going to tell them why they should buy it based on their situation. Dude. Right. You, Here's your situation. Here's what I recommend. Here's why you should buy it. And you know what they do, Cody? Exactly what you're doing right now. Mm. And guess what they do next? They give me their social, their driver's license, their bank account. Yeah. And I, it, I met them 12 minutes ago. Exactly. This is gold. You're this buying it. I'm not selling it. People yeah. want to buy. They don't want to be sold. This is gold, man. This is so good. I, did, did you did you know you'd be this good of a sales trainer one day? Um, you know, I had this good of a sales trainer. Yeah. Well, also too, you, you always you're a confident individual. You, you you can tell you've always had personal confidence in yourself. So yes, you knew you'd be this good. Yes, you knew you'd be this successful. Yes, you knew that you'd be speaking at a conference like yeah. One day. And, and you know, even at my level, Cody, I feel like I have so much more growth to be had. Okay. So on, on that note, here's my question. Your yeah. uncle, you, you, something stood out to me big time. You said a few minutes ago, your uncle, right? Made yeah. three, three quarters of a million dollars in insurance. Yeah. You couldn't get in it and not think bigger because of that. Absolutely. You're right. I mean, my girl, my dad was in a factory growing up. He, you know, he worked in, a, in an aerospace industry for 34 years. He retired out of a factory my first year in the insurance business, I made more money than my dad did his 35th year working his job. And wow. I knew I was, and I knew I was going to, I knew I was going to do well here. And don't get me wrong. I didn't come in and make 300,000 and 400,000. Like some of these new agents come in and make, because it's insane seeing these numbers, these 20 year olds are coming in doing nowadays, right? They didn't have the resources we have. You know, I had to use MapQuest. I didn't have a cell phone, right? If I, if I didn't press I remember not running at MapQuest from my last appointment to my house and being lost for three hours. Mm. Right. Cause I was four hours away. I was never, I never said no to an appointment, Cody. Yeah. I, I would drive to Sacramento. I would drive to Bakersfield. I would drive wow. hours from, from where I lived 
to go run two appointments. Wow. Right. And, and, you know, cause I always bet on myself. I always figured, you know what? I, I mean, they're there waiting for me. I, I got this. Yes, you do. Right. I got this. And I, and I'm always, you know, I feel like I can connect with people and I feel like that's important. You know I mean? You gotta yeah. be genuine. Like people gotta, you know, and I, and I'm not, you know, I'm kind of unique. I, I know I don't look the way I sound and my name is a little strange. How, so how, think, do, you, how, how do you spell your name for those that want to look you up after? So yeah, my name is Mo Bill Taji, B I L T A G I. And both of my parents are Middle Eastern, but I was born in Southern California. And, you know, I, I feel very American, but I don't look very American. And I, and I, I grew up in like a hick town, Norco, U, Norco, California, you know, horse town, USA's on the side of the, you know, the, the, the building. And so, I, I mean, I, I feel very like local, but I, I look foreign. But you, I, sound, you sound, you sound, you know, you sound local. You, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. I get, I was born here. I, I've never even yeah. been to the Middle East. I, I've been here my whole life. So, wow. so, you know, I feel like a surfer, bro. You know, <laughs> I grew up surfing in Huntington, you know I mean? So, so yeah. that's what I feel like, but I feel like it's interesting. And I feel like that gives me a story yes. and people, people want to know more. So, you know, I feel like for all those people that have accents that look different, that feel different, don't be afraid of that. Like really, be proud of it and embrace it and put it out there. I mean, I, you know, something that really motivated me a long time ago was there was a, 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 an Indian gentleman that had such a strong accent that was, that wore a turban on his head mm -hmm. and he was an insurance, like a big insurance producer. I saw his video on YouTube mm -hmm. a long time ago in the early stages of YouTube. And it really, really motivated me how like this guy who a lot of people in his situation might've been, you know, scared or embarrassed of their, I hear so many people say, Oh, my accent holds me back. Or, you know, I'm afraid people aren't going to understand what I say, or it, it's, it's, it's all in your head, right? It's all about mindset, Cody. Anything is possible. That's right. You can make it happen. The, the bad news is it's up to you. That's it. It's all up to you, man. Right. That's the bad news. How, how do they, uh, in, in, in closing, if they want to learn more, as you mentioned a second ago, how, how do they, how do they reach out to you? Um, well, you know, you can email me, you can get, reach me on Instagram, life insurance agent mentor. Um, you know, that's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. You know, if you want to call me, my number is 951-858-4303. I've had that number since I've been in high school. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not really a, a jumper, been married a long time, married one girl. I ain't getting married again. Yeah. Right. I, I, I got, I got, to, I've been at this agency for my, my, almost my whole career. Mm. You know, I'm not chasing the next best thing. Yeah. I'm committed to what I making what I have work because an extra 5% commission isn't going to change your life. No, that's good. What's going to change your life is you doubling your production. Yes. Right. And so yes. my, my uncle told me something a long time ago, Cody, he said a, a little bit of a lot is way better than a lot of a little. <laughs> he told me that when I was really young. Right. And I, and I keep repeating that's that this, these things, cause you know, they, 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 they hold true to me. That's awesome. Well, dude, you, you're a special dude. Your energy is infectious. I'm excited to see you at 8% coming up in 30 days from today, by the way. Okay. I know it's coming quick. It's exciting. Uh, you, you're, you, you are infectious. You are helping the industry. You care. You're one of my favorite people. So thank you for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate that, Cody. I, I, the feelings mutual, man. I, even though I, I really haven't spent a lot of time with you, Cody, I feel like I know you so well just because of social media. It's it's so strange how that like social media effect. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you watch somebody's videos for thirty minutes, and you feel like you know if you see them somewhere, you'd be like, "Hey, Cody," you know, like you know, like like you're yeah. best friends. It's so strange, but it's but it's so cool crazy. at the same time. It's crazy. Well, dude, thank you for doing what you're doing, and keep appreciate it, Cody. Keep rocking. I will. I will. I promise. Boom. Go follow us, dude. Mobile Taji. Appreciate it, you guys. Appreciate you, buddy. Have a great day. Have a good one. Thanks, Cody. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Let's jump into steps of a speech. Seven steps to a powerful speech. Number one. What do you think number one is? Get attention. That's right.